So I'm reviewing the Beagle Total Phase 480 here. This is a high speed USB analyzer. So you can see the connection of the computer on that side. And there we have the device connection, connection for the host and this external hardware connection. So if you open the top, you can see what's on the inside here. There's a total phase marked IC, probably some sort of FPGA or similar, um, high speed USB interface, some memory for storage, and some various analog circuitry. There's a, a nice power supply system in here so you can power the device from any of the ports and not worry about damaging it. And it also isolates it from your computer, which makes analysis a lot easier. So I'm going to show you an example project here. Um, one problem we might have is debugging an embedded microcontroller. So there I have the micro and a JTAG emulator, as well as connected up to my total phase Beagle 480 device. And this external hardware plug, I'm actually connecting up one of the output I.O. lines, out 4, to the I.O. pin on the microcontroller. And I'm also feeding this same output signal back into the input line of the Beagle 480. So I'm trying to show you some examples of how you can really use this device. You can download the software that it runs on um, for free and play around with all the example captures. So I'm not really going to give it a good review of all of those features because you can check that out yourself. So here I'm using a little clip to do this feedback process. So once you have this all set up, um, you can run the Beagle 480, the data center, which is their sort of core software for doing all of this. It's really nice. All the upgrades are free. So I had this device years ago and new features are continually added to it. Um, so let's give you an example. We'll connect to the analyzer here and there's the device. Start the capture and I'm just going to start the embedded system through the debugger. Now when you're debugging USB, and you're trying to figure out errors in the firmware. The problem is that if you try to stop the device, I pause the target being emulated here, all of a sudden there's just a whole bunch of errors on the bus and it's going to disconnect. So you can't analyze it, you know, single step through code and then see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the ability of the Beagle 480 to match on data packets and those extra inputs. Um, so for example, I can select a specific packet and say at this point I want the 480 analyzer to set that I.O. line high. And I'll use an interrupt on the embedded target to then pause the debugger. So we do this through some of the advanced options. I enable one of the input monitors too because I'm feeding it back. Uh, it's actually cool. You can use those input monitors for other features, like you can have tasks in the embedded micro toggle the I.O. lines, and then you can see when the tasks stop running, well, that you see the I.O. line stop. So you can sort of correlate between when an event happens on the embedded micro and when it happens in the USB analyzer stream. All right, so now I'm telling it to match on specific information about the data packet. So the PID, um, packet ID, the device, the endpoint, and you can actually even enable the data matching. So if I expand this packet, we can see some of the details there. Um, and I'm actually going to change it to match on the setup packet and not the in packet. So this packet here. So the data zero packet, I'm actually going to match on that specific payload. So when that data goes over the bus, um, the analyzer in hardware is going to set the I.O. pin high. So this lets us easily control additional equipment, in this case, a in-circuit emulator for the embedded target. All right, so you can set up the data match and I just manually copy it over here. So this ability to interface between the USB analyzer and some other embedded hardware is really the key part of this analyzer and what makes it a lot better than sort of other devices I'd been using. All right, so we close all that. And now let's open 
the target. So I set a breakpoint at the interrupt I set up. Um, and once again, we just start running. And then what you'll find is that, oh, I have to restart the capture here, I forgot. Um, eventually when that data goes over the bus, it's actually going to set that line high, which we'll see in the emulator here, and it's gonna hit the breakpoint. So let me just restart. And you immediately see the breakpoint's been hit. Um, and if we scroll back in the capture log, and again, it's because the USB device disconnected, it tries to reset it, um, but we don't care about that anymore. So we can see this change on IOPIN occurring right after this uh, data packet went over the air. So once you have this, you can basically just return from the interrupt to see what type of code was causing the problem in the first place. All right, so let's look at another example. Here I was debugging um, this hardware board that was seeing some random errors. So I have the analyzer hooked up. Um, I have one of the inputs connected this time. I'm trying to synchronize to an input event. And I also have a scope probe that's monitoring the power supply because I thought the issue had something to do with the power maybe having a glitch in it. So I've actually connected the trigger of the oscilloscope to one of the output pins of the Beagle 480, and I've, again, I've done this loop back where I also feed the output pin into one of the inputs. So here we see the problem. There's all these corrupted packets that are all of a sudden occurring. So how do you solve this? This is something that can be very difficult to tra track down. And if you have a software analyzer, you're basically screwed because these won't even show up in the USB stack. So again, I'm going to use that ability for data matching. I set one of the inputs to monitor the loopback. Um, and then I use this output pin four again, and I set it to just trigger on any corrupted packets. Um, so there I was switching to data, I hit the wrong one, so to corrupted packets. All right. So again, if you, if you knew a specific packet was causing it, you could match on the data. In this case, it was just some sort of corrupted packet. So we let the system run for a while, and at this point, um, I have to force data to go across the bus, which is what causes my corrupted packet. So I make sure the scope set up to be triggered. Just restart the triggering there. And if I open the... We can see it's still working, and I'll have to open the analyzer tool here. Um, so this is what's actually causing USB data to go over the bus, and I basically just hit it a bunch of times until we get a corrupted packet. So there's a corrupted packet, um, and you can see how the I.O. lines are toggling after each corrupted packet. So you see they start toggling right after that first one, and then it changes, etc. So each, each of those I.O. lines is triggering our scope. Um, and you can also see some other stuff about output pin one toggling. I was also monitoring some of the external uh, inputs to see what the device was doing. So you can ignore those for now. Anyway, so once we know this works, we're again using this power of the external I.O. lines to trigger between multiple pieces of test equipment. So here, what I'm going to do is switch to the oscilloscope and make sure it's captured this. So it's just captured the first occurrence of that um, I.O. line toggling. And we can sort of zoom in on it. In this case, the oscilloscope, you can see a little bit of noise on the VCC line. I actually had to switch to a better oscilloscope to really nail this down. And it did end up being an issue with the ground plane being split, uh, resulting in the voltage too much sort of ground bounce and the lines were going out of spec. So I put a blog post up with details of that if you're interested, but hopefully this sort of review has showed you some of the ways you can use the total phase Beagle 480 in more advanced tasks than just simply looking at USB traffic, but actually synchronize between multiple pieces of equipment. Thanks for watching.